what the flip is poppin' tube nation. This is another segment I would like to call me looking sketchy in a parking lot at night with a ring light. The more that I do this, the more that I feel like a Sterniolo triplet. I could be a part of their brotherhood. <laughs> if you guys don't know who the Sterniolo triplets are, you guys are missing out. They are truly my favorite content creators on the platform. They always sit in a McDonald's parking lot at night and talk. Never met them, but I care about them. They are just so wholesome, so funny, so precious. They're like, I think 20, they're like 20 years old. I feel like they're my little brothers at this point. Like I have this weird parasocial relationship with them. So anyway, yeah, I'm sitting here in a parking lot. I just kind of wanted to talk about, wait, I got, an, I got a wedding invitation. One sec. Oh my God, cute. One of my friends is getting married. That's fun. So I wanted to talk about going to the Madame Tussauds for the unveiling of the Harry Styles wax figure, okay? My manager sent me this email a few weeks ago being like, you're gonna be one of the first people to ever see it. And I was like, wow, that is so special because that wax figure is gonna be in that museum for like hundreds of years. It's gonna be iconic. Like that is Harry Styles in his prime. And I'm gonna be one of the first people to see it let's go 16 year old me would be crying i was so grateful to even be invited to that like damn that's so sick we recorded some footage this is going to be kind of a shorter video and i say that knowing that it's still going to probably be 20 minutes long but that's short for me but before we get started we do have a sponsor so take it away sarah all right y'all today's video is sponsored by Kara. summer is here and what is summer all about the sun I mean, technically, yeah, but it also means loving every part of you. And Care Of is here to help you take care of yourself so that you could feel your best this summer season. And one of the most important things for me personally is to make sure that I have my vitamins every day. But I never know which ones to take, how many I should take. And that's why I love Care Of is because they make it easy for me. Care Of is a subscription supplement service that makes it easy for you to stick to a consistent vitamin routine. So Care Of sent me my own personalized supplement pack. It looks like this. It looks like a little dispenser. That's where you get your little packs. And I just put this by my nightstand Stand literally right there by my bedside table. So I shut my alarm clock and I reach for these because these are my fuel, these are my energy. This is what makes me feel good in the morning. And you just pull it out of the little dispenser. It says your name on it. And there's a sweet little message on the packet to encourage you. And on every single packet, there's a little different encouragement. And I get so excited to look at it every day. That might sound lame, but I genuinely get excited. And these vitamins were customized to me. All I had to do was go online and take their little quiz. And I've been taking these for a few weeks now and I feel such a difference in the morning. And the quiz online provides personalized guidance with doctor-backed recommendations. You could retake the quiz depending on where you're at in your life or if any of your goals have changed. And when I filled out that quiz, girl, they said that I should try cranberry, a probiotic blend, a B complex, chromium and apple extract, rhodiola? So that's what's in here. And they also gave me a focus pack when I need to focus. Um, and it's a blend of vitamin B12, ginseng, and ginkgo biloba. And on their app, they have a new feature called routines. And basically it just helps you build a holistic routine with daily activities that support your vitamin use. So you set a goal for that day. And then the app will help you identify activities, like certain activities that support your goal, which is fantastic. Think of care of as your little friend. They just want to take care of you. So take care of quiz and find out what's recommended for you. Just use my code Sarah Baska for 50% off of your first order. Thank you so much care of for sponsoring today's video. I feel amazing and let's get into it. So this happened on Monday. So I was really stressing all day Monday because I'm like, what am I gonna wear? I was so nervous all day. Cause I'm like, oh my God, obviously I'm gonna be taking pictures with this thing. And in the email it said to dress smart. And I was like, what does dressing smart mean? Should I wear a pantsuit? Should I wear a blazer? Like I did not know what to wear. I was like, do I wear heels? Do I wear pearls? I don't know. But then it was also like, you get bonus points if you dress like Harry. And I was like, how do I? How do I do this? But then I found this really cute jacket in my closet and I was like, wait, this is so hairy and so me. Like, this is perfect. But also in LA, it's like a hundred degrees right now. So I was like, is wearing a jacket the move? But then I'm like, if we're going to a wax museum, they always keep it really air conditioned in there. Cause the wax is gonna melt if it's too hot. So I was like, it'll be fine. And it was not fine. I had sweat coming out of every crease and cranny of my body, but 
whatever. So I bring Christelle with me and we're gonna meet up with Caitlin there because she got invited too. And you guys, as we're pulling up to the museum, it's on Hollywood Boulevard, right on the strip. It's the iconic wax museum that every tourist goes to. And I pull up on Hollywood Boulevard and my name, my name, well, my Instagram handle, which is my name, but like two A's at the end. Follow me. Um, it just said, welcome Sarah Baska on this giant LED screen on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> I was like, am I dreaming? Like I said, 16 year old me would be squirming and squirting. It was just so cool to see my name. I was like, that is so inviting. But then it flashed the next one and it said Scotty Sire. And I was like, damn. I thought it was just for me. Just welcome Sarah Pasca. That's it. But then it went through like everyone who got invited. And I was like, damn, but it was cool. So we walk into the entrance. I see everyone else with champagne glasses. And I was like, oh, we get free champagne. And it also said that in the email so I was like hell yeah so we walk in and we're kind of like where's the champagne and they didn't have any more they ran out okay whatever that's not that big of a deal but I just wanted to be classy with my champagne glass walking through the museum so then they give us these little badges that said our name on it the first person that I saw was Dwayne the Rock Johnson his wax figure and his wax figure was so startling the shit is so realistic it is terrifying everything about these wax figures they had veins they had pores on their skin you saw their black heads you saw every wrinkle their eyeballs were realistic they looked like real eyes <sighs> So I was really tripping over Dwayne because he's obviously beautiful and that's just Dwayne. But I was just like, oh my God, this is gonna be kind of scary. And I realized that this is a new fear unlocked for me. Wax figures and a bunch of them. So then as we're walking by Dwayne and Marilyn, we go up this ramp and then there's Kylie Jenner. Oh my God, what? What the f Whoa, and I was like, oh my God, we're the same height. That's crazy. That's cute. I was like, okay, Kylie. And then y'all, we walk into this room and it's called the A-list room, like the A-listers. And it was the scariest shit. It was so eerie. <laughs> ah! <laughs> And you don't know if one of them is actually real and they're gonna pop out and do something. And we were like, oh my God, is Jimmy Fallon gonna pop out and prank us? Like, it was so creepy. Wait, Simon just scared the shit out of me. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is <laughs> oh. What is real, what is not? I feel like I'm in an acid trip. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Aww. This way to Harry Styles. Is he real or not? Yeah, that guy's real. <laughs> what the heck is this? What is that? <laughs> oh! <laughs> not me jumping! <laughs> you showed her. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Yeah, you really want to go there, buddy? Oh, this guy. <laughs> Where's the champagne? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, this make me like sad. <laughs> I'd for sure tap that. <laughs> I hope it would be this kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, this way to Harry Styles. Ooh, this is getting intense. Are we able to kiss no, no. Right now? <laughs> what do you want? Trying to make her flinch. I was thinking how creepy it would be to walk around there at night, like with the lights kind of dim and just you alone in that wax museum, just walking around at nighttime. Uh uh. No, no chance. That was already terrifying enough. Whoa. This is not Zac Efron. I know. Oh, you're lying. Not Brad Pitt. 
Shut up right now. Two times night. Hey, me pop my. Checking her ponytail extension. Easy. Like, she used the same extensions as I do. <laughs> Not Jason Derulo. Why? He has the coolest one. His is so sick. This is what I would request. This is so Aw, <laughs> oh, you were my first concert. Like, excuse me. <laughs> you got the cinema? You do, Johnny. Old school, we send you nothing but some cheese. Any full pack of top papers about to put some peas in it. Work it for me, baby, and make sure you put your knees in it. I got leg room, I could probably fit your knees in it. What y'all know about that country shit from by the river said. And then y'all, we finally got to the room with Harry. I was so nervous. I didn't know why I was so nervous. I was literally shaking because I saw him in the corner. Like people were taking pictures of him in the corner, but it looked like he was standing there where I couldn't even look in that direction. I was like, oh my God, you guys, let's just like look at the other wax figures and just take our time because this is a lot. And I feel like he's literally standing over there. All right, Caitlin's gonna read us with some wax facts. <coughs> These are wax um, <laughs> approximately 10 pounds of wax is used for a head. Wow. And four wow. pounds of wax is used for a pair of hands. Wow. The next wax fact. <laughs> oh my god, the restaurant Spanish. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, so. <laughs> so we're drinking the champagne. We turn around, we see Michael Jackson. We're like, oh my god. <laughs> We were dying laughing because there was a DJ in that room and he was just playing Harry. I'm obsessed with the DJ. <laughs> I'm just playing Harry. That was awesome. I was like, I need this gig. How do you get this gig? So then we finally got in line and me, Caitlin and Christelle were like, you go first. No, you go first. I don't wanna go first. Like he was literally standing there. We were like, you go first. It was just so much pressure. <laughs> Finally, Christelle was like, I'll just go first. So Christelle took her pictures. They were so cute. I just went up next. And you guys, when I tell you, it was so freaky. It was so realistic. Everything, everything about it. Well, besides they didn't make his arms muscly enough, which I saw some controversy about. They should have made him beefier. A lot of people were saying it looks like he got a breast reduction. <laughs> Because he was so flat and he has some pecs like he has some juice to him, but they just didn't give him anything But other than that like his face his eyes This is what you would look like if you were right in front of me And I was really happy because I'm like, oh my god. He's so much taller than me. This is cute Like I had heels on too. So I was like perfect like our height ratio was like, okay, yes. And I didn't know which wax figure was gonna be there because he has like five or six that were made for different museums around the world. So I didn't know which one was gonna be there. And I got so lucky because the one that was there, we were matching kind of. I was literally shaking while taking pictures with him, which makes no sense. Yeah, I just really took advantage of that moment. We're not the book it, cause we legendary. I just talk it how I live it. If I said it, then I meant it. If I did it, then I did it, cause it's necessary. Keep it cheap. And I'm not, okay, I'm not gonna jinx myself, but for now, this is the closest thing that I have to a picture with Harry. So I really wanted to like make sure I got some good ones. I know I'm gonna meet him one day and I'm gonna meet him soon. It's gonna happen universe come on i don't understand like what the hell just make it happen already i don't get it and the guy just rolled past me on roller skates and i really applaud him for that it's like midnight you just rollerblading oh to be a man oh to be a man and feel comfortable enough to rollerblade at night cannot relate then it was time for us to all shuffle out of there and so we left magnet for our fridge <laughs> yeah what <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 
This is so epic. Wait, yours is so sick. <gasps> now, there's a new air freshener. Bruh. Yo, Sarah, and it's your name right now, too. <laughs> showed up <laughs> and it was only like 10 30 and we we're like we can't just go home we could but like it felt wrong like we were on a high our adrenaline was spiked our jitters turned into serotonin so we were like we have to keep this going but it's a monday and then we remembered that it was rock night at this one club that we go to so we went to rock night and i feel like that fit the theme we felt like rock stars it was a cute little time but yeah that was basically it i know this is a pretty short video but I wanted to share about my experience. I guess I could talk about Nickelback for a second. I saw Nickelback a few days before that, and it was one, it was genuinely also one of the best nights of my life. This week has just been filled with iconic moments for me. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge Nickelback fan, and it's not a joke to me. I get really pissed off and really protective and stubborn when people try to make fun of me for it, because it's not a fucking joke to me, and I don't understand the hate that they get. I think that people just do that for attention, and I think people People just hate on them because it's popular and trendy but if you actually gave their music a listen and you read the lyrics they're very good whatever so I was really excited for this this was gonna be one of those milestone moments for me <laughs> believe it or not and we get there and we're in GA which was awesome it was at the forum and that made me so emotional and so happy for them because they haven't toured in years maybe like five or six years and this was their big comeback tour and they got the forum it's like hell yeah Nickelback don't let anyone bring you down like you can play at the forum and you did that and you're doing that we get there and we don't really know what to expect in terms of the crowd like we don't know like what the demographics gonna be it was an interesting crowd to say the least. It was very interesting. But I met a lot of you guys there. One of the security girlies who like led us through, she was like, I knew you would be here. And I'm like, yes. Yes, you did. Um, One of the guys that I used to hook up with was working security and he messaged me a few times that he was going to be there. I didn't respond. In my mind, I was like, cool, dude. If I see you, that would be cool. <laughs> like, I haven't talked to you in months, but that'd be cool to see you, I guess. But yeah, it was genuinely a great show. Their set list was fire. It was like 70% all throwbacks, and then the 30% was like some of their new stuff. So I was like, this is perfect. This is a perfect mix. I was screaming my heart out. I lost my voice after that show. That was the first time I've gotten genuinely excited when a band came out. In years, probably since I saw Harry last. I got chills all over my body, like goosebumps. And I was like, I've been waiting for this moment for years, dude. The amount of times that I've DM'd Nickelback being like, tour dates win. Whenever they would post on their story the past few years, I'm like, haha, cute, but tour win 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 so my moment was happening and i was very satisfied i got really jealous at one point not like pissed off but just like annoyed i was happy for her this one girl won a contest i didn't know about the contest if i would have known about the contest i would have entered the contest but i didn't know about the contest i guess there was a contest where if you won the contest you could go on stage and perform with nickelback to rockstar and they would give you a microphone and you got to perform with them and we all just want to be a bit like dude that's my dream this girl came up on stage i was happy for her and i was thinking in my head i'm like if this bitch doesn't know the lyrics but she killed it she knew all the lyrics thank god and she had a good voice she was just really happy and i, I was happy for her but i was just raging in so much jealousy but i really try to like compartmentalize that and open up the box in my brain that was happy for her um but yeah that was really really sick so fun i danced my pants off oh my god you guys i forgot to mention this in the video but at the end of the show i started flirting with one of the security guards because he was really hot and he gave me Nickelback's guitar pick that Chad threw at the crowd but he accidentally caught it <laughs> he gave it to me because he thought I was cute and it's fucking signed bitch are you kidding me <laughs>
I'm gonna frame this. So yeah, that's been pretty much my past few days. I know that this video wasn't anything like crazy, but I just wanted to update you guys on the cool things that I've been doing this past week. And then on Friday, me and my friends are gonna have a beach day. Ashlyn's coming over from Arizona. We're gonna just chill a little. Beach day. And then on Saturday, Christelle and I are driving to, I can't remember what town it's in, but it's some little town in California and we're seeing the garden. And I'm so excited. I love the garden. They're a band, if you don't know. They're fucking hot and perfect. So that's gonna be really awesome. I'll try to vlog or like film a few things from that. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a great week and a great weekend. And I hope you guys are having a great summer. I love ya. Bye. Not a groomer. Just a loser. Toxic. All, all, all.